Hey guys, it's Ruzi from White Pine. Um, in today's video, we're going to be going over some intermediate core exercises. Now, if you guys haven't checked out the video prior to this, where we go over beginner exercises, make sure you check those first, you see how those feel, and then you work your way up. And if you guys can give me some love, give us some support, make sure you press that like button, share our videos with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. We're, we're going to go over bird dog right now. Uh, bird dog is a great core strengthening exercise. It also works on our balance and really helps with that mind and body connection. Now what I want you to do, your hands are going to sit underneath your shoulders. You're going to engage your shoulder blades, so contract those shoulder blades together. My knees are lined up with my hips. I really want to be aware of my low back, so I don't want that arch happening. I want to engage my core, keep that back nice and flat. And I try to keep a neutral spine, so I don't want to be looking forward like this. Neither do I want my head to be coming down this way. I want to be looking about a foot or two in front of me. Okay, I'm going to extend one arm, thumbs up, opposite leg, bring it back down. Make sure you keep that core nice and tight. You want to make sure there is no arch in your low back. So again, exhale, bring it back. Now the opposite. Exhale, bring it back. You really want to make sure that your hips are leveled. What's really common is that as I do this, my body wants to open up. So bring that hip down, make sure you're nice and leveled. Back in, then again, exhale, and back in. Now we're going to be going over the dead bug. What I want you to do, lay on your back, make sure you squeeze those shoulder blades, make sure you pin that low back. So I'm going to engage my core, pin that low back, bring my knees off the ground, okay? One thing I need you guys to be aware of when we're doing these exercises, make sure that low back stays flat on the ground. Hands up, okay? Thumbs up, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to extend one arm and the opposite leg at the same time. Exhale, bring it back in. Exhale, bring it back in. I need you guys to make sure as you extend, you keep that core nice and engaged and that low back does not come off the ground. So again, exhale, and bring it back in. Guys, just make sure when we're doing this exercise, the further I extend my leg away from my body, the more challenging it gets for my body to keep that low back pinned. So you, if you're extending all the way and you feel like you're arching, don't extend as much. Work your way up to it. So bring it maybe till here, back up, here, back up, till you build more strength. Then you can go full range, back up. Full range, back up. And another thing with a dead bug is, as I'm extending one leg, I'm thinking about pulling the other knee towards my chest. So as I extend this, with this knee, I'm really trying to pull it towards myself. Then back up, same thing. Okay, now we're going to be going over an alternate leg raise. So I want you to lay on your back, squeeze those shoulder blades together, pin that low back on the ground, engage your core, hands on your sides, I want both feet off the ground, go into a dorsiflexion, so point your toes towards yourself. I want you guys to extend one leg, bring it down, exhale, back up, inhale, exhale, back up, inhale. Now if it's challenging to keep your low back on the ground as you're doing this, place your hands underneath your glutes. Okay, so you're going to elevate your glutes just a slight bit, which is going to help pin that low back on the ground. So I'm doing the same thing. Exhale and inhale. Exhale and inhale. And then again, if you want to make it more challenging, the more weight I put away from my body, the more challenging this gets. So if I bring it here, that's as challenging as I'm going to get it while I'm doing this exercise. And if I wanted to make it easier, I just bring it higher up, okay? And if it's really challenging for, for someone who's doing it, doing this with your hands underneath your glutes, don't go as low. Keep your feet up here and just work your way. Okay, so start it off here. And then bring it lower as you get stronger. And then take it all the way down. Uh, for our next one, we're going to be going over the heel touch. 
So I want you to lay on your back, squeeze those shoulder blades, engage that core. Now I'm going to be bringing my upper back off the ground, but at the same time, I don't want to be doing this. So I don't want my shoulders forward. I want to keep them nice and back. Chest is out, I'm coming off the ground. Touch, touch. So I'm basically reaching out, touching my heel, touching my heel. Exhale, inhale. So I'm constantly in and out breathing. And the slower I do it, the longer I put stress on the muscle, the more I'm going to feel the workout. Now, for those of us who deal with upper back discomfort, neck discomfort, headaches, this is something that I want you to stay away from. Till you build your upper back strength, then you can come into exercises like this. Because this motion right here, there is a ton of stress in my traps leading up to my neck which is going to cause discomfort for those of us who are weak in that area. So make sure first you strengthen that upper back and there's a ton of videos that we've made that you can check them out. They're in the description down below and you can build that strength and work your way up. And as always, when it comes to repetition for these exercises, for now, I want you guys to keep it for three sets of 10. I hope you guys enjoyed that video, guys. If you guys have any suggestions or recommendations for me, or any questions, please do write them down in the comments below. And if you guys can send us some love, like our videos, share our videos, and subscribe to our channel.